all right guys here we are another episode of niu dynasty and today we have miami of ohio the number 24 ranked team this is gonna be the toughest game of the season we're in a good spot though we're sitting at six and four we're four and two in the conference and a win today would put us to five wins in conference play and miami's sitting there at five and one in conference play so it's a very big matchup for us now i'm recording all of these back to back all right as I told you guys uh, the other day in my post, well, now at this point in this episode, this is probably like a week or so ago. I'm talking to my future self here. I don't even know how when I'm going to post all of these. I have like, this is the fourth one I'm recording in a row. And I just, I just have a feeling that I'm going to come down with something. As I told you guys in my earlier post that my, <clears throat> my daughter had something. And so I'm trying to get all this stuff done ahead of time so that in the inevitable happens, I can go ahead and I can get, you know, a bunch of content out. So we are here, another episode. If you guys have been commenting about things to change for these upcoming episodes, this is the last time <laughs> that I'm ignoring you because all of these episodes recorded the same day. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. So let's just let's not waste any time. We're gonna get right into the game. Okay, here we go. So our first drive ended up with a quick punt. So we are now on defense. Miami's first drive of the day. It's a play action. He's under pressure, gets rid of it just in time, and it's incomplete. Quick snap, quick throw over the middle. He breaks free. He's got space. 50, 40. Can anybody catch him? Bird in, in transit. So is number five. And finally, we track him down, but not until he gets down inside to the 10-yard line. And a quick pass outside to an open receiver, and he almost gets in the end zone. Okay, Miami of, U of Ohio is kicking our butts right now, okay? And a quick handoff, and that finishes the drive. Okay, well, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, here we go, back on offense. Bacon hands it off, and there goes Brown to the outside. He's got blocks out across the 40 and out of bounds. First and 10 after the big play. And we're gonna go right back to Brown, why not? And he's gonna get outside and get a few yards off the left side. Second and seven. Making back to pass. Looks left side. Got a man. And that is Barnes open down to the 30. All right. Can we respond with a touchdown of our own here? Let's see if we can keep this momentum going. McElroy is back, by the way. Who the heck is that guy? Our fullback was in. Okay, so we <laughs> audible to a different route. We had an eye formation or something, so our fullback was out wide. And there's McElroy on the reverse. No, it's a fake to him. Hand off to Brown. It does not go for much, and it's now going to be third and nine. Quick snap. Bacon right side. It's caught, and Brown has the first. That was a big clutch play right there. If we don't get that first, oof. I, I'm really happy we did. We need a touchdown. Blitz coming, we pick it up. It leaves somebody open and it's a touchdown. Apple get into the end zone again. He has been having a really good season as well. And we are gonna tie things up. Good job by of the offense to bounce back. Miami of Ohio back on offense here. Ooh, a little RPO. He'll throw it outside for a short gain of three. He's got all day. Over the middle, broken up. That was a big pass breakup. We had a few injuries over the weeks. We're missing Jaden Dolphin, Deshaun Prophet, and one of our guards. So it's going to be a tough road ahead of us in order to get this done, but hopefully we can power through. They make a big catch over the middle first down. There's a handoff. 
And working his way through the traffic, still on his feet for a gain of eight. Oh, read option, and it goes for the first down. Quick snap, and a little handoff over the middle. Gain of two. Not much for him there. Another quick handoff. Oh, bouncing all around the field. Finds his way for about three or four. We're coming up close to the end of the first quarter. Another wide open. I mean, these guys are just wide open over the middle. That is crazy. Come on, defense. I know we're, we're hurting. We're tired. Last, last game of the season, though. We got to power through. One of the last games of the season. You know what I mean. End of the season. Get him, get him, get him! No! I was hoping that one of our defenders would be able to track him down. But we couldn't. We couldn't get it done. Yeah, we are getting outplayed so far in this game. First quarter definitely goes to Miami of Ohio, even though the score is tied. They had like two more plays. They're probably going to have more points. Unless this defense can come up with something big here. Hand off. And okay, there we go. Cut it down. Second and goal. Got two more plays to that, though. Another handoff. And he's in. Second effort gets the job done. And Miami of Ohio is going to take the lead again. Back on offense here. We're behind the eight ball. But if our offense can try to, to... Okay. All right. Well, you know, I thought we might be able to keep up. I was wrong. Let's just, let's just hope that was a fluke. Come on, guys. Let's just keep it moving here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Screen him to Brown. And he'll get most of those yards. Well, half the yard as we needed back. Third and six now. Bacon back, looking right side. It's completed. Kenji Lewis with another tough grab on the sideline. And Brown gets tracked down behind the line. He has not been able to get much going at all. And I know he's tired, man. The wear and tear is affecting him. Making deep shot again. It's complete. Kyle Thomas turns it upfield. And he's down inside the 10 to the 7. Another big play for Thomas. And making 2,007 passing yards this season. He really turned it on for us after we decided to make him the starter. Got us to a 6-4 and four record. And there's Williams out of the backfield. And look at him just skirt right through all the defenders for the touchdown. And we will tie it right back up. Yeah, you might be 8-2, but we are right there with you guys. Miami back out here. Hand off to Tracy. Tries to bounce outside. Nothing there. It was Sessions in on the stop. We just got to get this offense to just chill out for like one or two drives. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. He outran his blocks. We might have a shot here. Third and six coming up. Come on, defense. Let's get ourselves a stop here. This is a big game. And we can't get it done. Dang it. Tried. Another, another pass. Oh, he's under pressure. Get him. Big play by Session. A huge loss of 14. That might be the opening we need for this drive. We just got to make sure this defense doesn't let his foot off the gas. Come on now, guys. Over the middle. No, we don't give up all the yards on the next play. Golly.
Okay, hey, we stopped him. There we go. I thought he was about to get it, man. I, my, I was I was getting deflated a little bit. But we get to stop. And we got the ball back. All right, now let's see if this offense can take advantage of this. Now, we need to get a touchdown ourselves here to make this count. Come on now, offense. Making back quick throw, finds Lewis. And, oh, Lewis hit by like three or four dudes. Ends up being a gain of five. Blitz coming, we get rid of it to McElroy. Welcome back. Up the field, there he goes. Breaking free, 30, 20, 10, five, touchdown. Andrew McElroy, welcome back to the lineup. I did not think that that play was going to end up in a touchdown. McElroy doing all of the extra work. He caught it like four yards from the line of scrimmage, gets past the first defender. You think, yeah, he's down here. Nope, breaks free from that, catches a break with a, a receiver over the top, messing up the rest of the defenders. And then it was just a house call from there. All right, we have ourselves a touchdown lead, but Miami is back out here on offense. Takes a snap, looks underneath. Oh, breaks free, and he'll get a gain of nine. Second and one, Tracy in motion. A little pump fake. He's going deep. Down the right side, he's got a man, and he makes the catch. It's Perry on the play, getting a huge catch down the sidelines. I, what are they at the 20? Yeah, the 27 yard line after one play. I'll go to Tracy and he is dropped at the line. Nice job. Looking deep again, and somehow it is held on to. And Miami is just, they're just driving right down the field, almost like they didn't even try in the last drive. This is crazy. Quick snap. Under pressure, he has to throw it away. All right, third and four here. And, no, it's play action, and they they did not fool us at all. We get the sack, and we're going to force the field goal. Okay, so been a while. Last field goal made it 21-17. Then they got another one right before the end of half. A bunch of bad plays happened after in between. To, like I just skipped those drives. And now we are here on Miami's second drive of the second half. It's a 21-20 ball game. Shot over the middle, it's incomplete. Our defenders have been doing a good job of breaking up some passes. That's one thing I've noticed is the defense getting involved more on pass plays. Oh, See, like they've been putting them hits down. That one didn't pay off, but we've been getting that a lot. So I'll take what we can get. Hand off to Tracy, he somehow gets out of that. I don't know how. But we have kept him in check, though. 10 carries, 33 yards. Gabbert, though, we have not kept in check at all. Oh, as I say that, he rips one off for 10. Of course. Um, Gabbert, by the way, I'm assuming some of you guys probably know this. I did not. This is the quarterback for Miami of Ohio. Hand off. Tracy again. Easy conversion. Wow. Going for the screen, and they're gonna get it. Yep. One time I'd love to see a defender actually not get blocked in the back on the way out there and not have a flag call called on it, you know? Just once on them screens. Ooh, that was a good stop. We're already almost to the end of the third. Holy cow, this game has gone fast. And, yep, easy first. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I knew that this was going to be a hard game. I knew that this was going to be a tough one. We're going up against an 8-2 and two team that is actually ranked. <laughs> so, 
This is the first time since Notre Dame that we're playing a ranked team. And we all know how Notre Dame turned out. Second and goal. And off Tracy working his way through. Nothing there. Come on, defense. There we go. Ivan Davis with the sack. Our third sack of the day. And that is going to force another field goal. That's a big win for this defense given the last few drives. Offense has sputtered a little bit since the, like, midway through the second quarter. Making on a big rollout. He's going deep. Overshoots McElroy. Yeah, he knows it too. He knows he messed that one up. That was a big play opportunity that we just missed. There's been a couple of those today. Oh, and that time McElroy makes the catch. Big play there. Holding on. Good delivery from Macon. Here we go. Get set. Hand off. And yeah, that defense just came through like it was nobody's business. Okay, so that play brought us to the end of the third quarter. And that's what things are looking like right now. Miami is at number 24. Just inside of the top 25. We are trying our best to make a name for ourselves in the first season with a big win here. Hand off. Brown gets a nice block. Gets another one. And he's loose. Down inside the 40. That was a big play. We have not been able to establish the run much at all today. To see that run was big for us. All right, Lewis in motion. Oh, it's a handoff to Brown. He gets another nice block. He's in the open again. Down to the 25. That's what we want to see. I know he's tired. I know it's been a long season. But this is the biggest game of the season for us. Oh, my God. That couldn't have gone any worse. I, I'm not a fan of all those little end arounds and stuff. Play action. Gets rid of it just in time. And what a delivery to Thomas. And he gets in for the touchdown. I am so impressed with Jalen Macon. The delivery on that with the pressure in his face to put it on a line right to where Thomas needed it to get us back in the lead here. That was such an incredible play. I mean, he knows he's about to take a hit. He's got defenders over the middle and he stands tall and delivers a beautiful pass. All right, here we go. They're back out. Tracy takes the handoff and he's gonna take it for just a gain of one. Under 10 minutes to go in this game. We have not been able to stop this offense pretty much all night. There's another handoff. That one gets a little bit more yardage. Give him four, third and five. Looking over the middle or on the right side, it's caught hitch route to perfection. And that is gonna move the chains once again Miami's offense has just been so good tonight against us anyway. I'm not saying they're that good overall, but they're sure making us look like Swiss cheese. It just, you think we have them stopped and then there's just a 30 yard play almost every time without fail. Gabbert going deep, end zone shot. Oh, batted down. I would have loved an interception there, but I'll take a pass breakup. Anything but a touchdown right now and I'm happy with it. Oh, we get some pressure. Dude, you got to catch that. Oh, my God. That's such a big play. Oh. Third and ten. Gabbert back. Looking left side, and it's caught. Of course it's caught. That interception would have changed things so much for us. Gonna hand it off to Tracy. Ooh, what, what are you doing, Bird. I'm about to take that star away from you. Dude just ran right past him like he wasn't there. Second and three. Another handoff. And we get that stop. Okay. Third and one. I don't know what to expect here. They, they can sort of do what they want. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, 
Okay, going for the pass. Gabbert, he's got all day. Are we going to get some pressure? No, we're not. That's great. Just leave him open. First and goal again. Gets outside, easy touchdown. Wow. And just like that, Miami of Ohio takes the lead again. And they're going to go for two. Of course they are. I mean, why wouldn't they? Gabbert looks. And it's, yeah, easy. Easy does it. All right, guys. Here it is. Hand off to Brown up the middle. He'll get five. Four minutes to go. We're down by three. Biggest game of the season. Macon takes a step back. He looks underneath. He finds Lewis. Running across the end zone. There he goes. Man, he went flying past the line of scrimmage. Got past all the zones and then just used his speed. First and 10 now. We got to hurry it up. Making back again. Under pressure. He gets rid of it. Finds Lewis. Same exact route. Kenji Lewis doing us a huge service. We're down to the 32. And there's Brown trying to do something. And he'll get a few yards on the play. Making back, looking, caught again by Lewis. That was a little scary. That was a little bit of a late pass. That corner almost got there. Let's see what we got here on third down. Looking. He's got who the heck is that guy? I don't even know who 11 is, but I love him right now. Takes a snap. Goes to Brown. Left side, and he's out of bounds. Chris Carter, by the way, that was who that was. That was Chris Carter, the tight end. Another screen, that one to Lewis. And he gets it. Down to the 12, third and three. Oh, no. Oh, man. I was really hoping we would take a pass. They had so many people on the line. We could have tried to sneak somebody on a crossing route there. We've been killing all drive with that. And instead, we do a keeper that fails. You have got to be kidding me. He just missed it? Well, I'm adding kicker to our board. That was atrocious. I'm like 90% sure that just cost us the game. That, I, I didn't know it was possible to miss that close of a field goal. This is Blair Walsh. 2013 Vikings playoff game all over again for me, guys. How did we miss that? Well, here it is. This is the game. If we don't get a stop right here, it is most definitely game over. We're running a trap. We get the stop. Oh, my God. We get the stop, but now it's going to be on this offense to drive down the field in 48 seconds with no timeouts to get us in field goal range. I don't know if we've got it in us, but we're about to find out. Jalen Macon, he's played a very good game. Can he continue? I don't like that play. I don't like that play one bit. We need, we need yards here. Okay, stop the clock. Okay. Okay, we got McElroy up there. They're pressing. Let's try to get something over the top to McElroy here. Okay, we get the first down. Oh, Johnson! Go! Oh, my God! Look, get up and spike it! Get up and spike it! I 
cannot believe that we got that playoff. I thought it was Jalen Johnson. It was not. It was Grayson Barnes. Oh, my God. Here's your chance for redemption, kid. You better make this gosh damn field goal. It's up. Oh. What? That's, this is not happening. That did not just happen. Are you kidding me? I am in disbelief right now if that is how this game just ended. That dude is a mean. I see. I knew there was something wrong with him when I saw he was wearing number 92. Like, buddy, you're not a defensive lineman. Oh my God. I can't. He missed two chip shot field goals. All of the work that this offense did. Granted, they should have finished a couple of more drives. But to get this far. And to lose that way is absolutely gut-wrenching. Let's, um, let's add Mark East Webb to the board, shall we? All right, and now after that week, this is where we're at. Um, we are still in the lead here for Garfield. Um, we made some more effort on Raymer here. Oh, other people are starting to get involved with Hull here. I'm not sure if I want to go after him or not. Uh, we are, okay, so we're closing in on top three with... Jason Nix, but there is some competition now. Oh, all of a sudden, Adrian Doss cares about us. Okay, well, that is awesome. I'm gonna immediately, I'm going to go here. We're gonna remove this and we're just gonna send the house on him. How did UAB skip over us that much? What in the world did they offer him? We have this dude maxed out. We're a, a, they don't even have a pipeline on us. This this is what makes no sense to me, okay? We have our tier three pipeline on this dude. Dude lives in our state. UAB is only a two-star program. They are not like a three or four star where it's easily to see why the influence is that much more. How did this guy completely get flipped in a matter of a week that much? I am I'm at such a loss right now. I we just gotta hope that something changes in the top three because we are gonna lose to him too. Okay, we're still good on all of our linebackers here. Okay, and of course now here comes Michigan State. Oh, they are gonna wipe the floor with us, aren't they? Okay, well let's uh do a little bit of this if we have a good hard sell for him. Literally some of the worst ones we could have. Okay, so let's, um, I guess let's try and send the house and see if that changes things. I hope so, because I, you know what? If I find somebody else to put those points towards, I'm not even gonna continue wasting my time. Okay, well this guy does not care. We did 10 points, he still doesn't care. So part of me wants to just call it a, a wrap. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. Okay, we get anything with the kicker? Yeah, we did, we're up to number one. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna leave this alone for the week and see what happens. There isn't anybody else that I'm too worried about right now. All right, and I'm not playing this game either, guys. We're just gonna call it what it is. It's, I mean, we had a decent run on the season, but that last game really, really put a damper on everything. All right, let's see where things are at now. Hasn't been much movement. Okay, now Bowling Green's pushing for him. I don't know if I'm even gonna make a lot of play for him. Probably could if I wanted to. But with him being a three-star and being a bust, I don't know. I just don't think I wanna take the chance on it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna remove this and we are just going to remove him from the board. And we are still somehow holding on to Mike Hull. I'm gonna keep him in the back pocket. Okay, we're still doing good with Nyx. 
We're doing good with DOS. That's good. Okay, so things settled down a little bit. Um, we are like neck and neck with them. We're gonna we're gonna hold off here. You know, I just feel like to send the house is the best option for us. I don't think there's a way for me to you know not have that be the thing that I'm sending him because we already looked through his hard cells. We don't have the, the only thing we have going for us is is a for home. He doesn't have a deal breaker where that makes it any more important. I'm gonna give it a shot. We have 19 points based off of the max play CFB's little um, numbers game. So I'm going to remove this. And we are going to try hard sell on the clutch. And then I'm going to add DM the player. To max it back up to 50. And we're going to see how that goes. Things have died down a little bit with these guys. But um, we just we haven't really had much to, to look at. We are out gaining Michigan State once again. They have a, a visit scheduled, but we're just going to keep pounding the table to see if we can get him here. Now, this will give us enough to offer him a scholarship. So here was the final conference standings. Miami of Ohio ended up finishing in first, Buffalo second, Central Michigan third. We were right there. We really weren't that far off. A couple of games go our way, and we might be looking at, you know, fighting for something. Well, now we have our answer. Bryce Colley committed to UAB. What a punk. And all of a sudden, wow, we have some competition for Jason Nix. All right, now we can take a look at the few guys that we are, that we have signed. And look at that. Braden Calloway is an impact player. All right. So we got ourselves a good quarterback. Emmanuel Williams is star trait. And Mike Hurt is elite. Oh, man, guys, we got ourselves some good players for this offense. George Salter is normal. Willie Strange is impact. That's what I'm talking about. Bryce Colley ended up being an impact player. Marquez Dobbs is normal. Derelict is normal. Figured that. Tony is normal. And that is all the recruits that we have so far. And that is going to be a good spot for us to end it. So there wasn't a whole lot the last couple of weeks. No recruiting, um, no games or nothing. But we do have an invite to the Arizona Bowl to take on the New Mexico Lobos. So that is going to be our next episode. We will watch the bowl game because, hey, we made a bowl game. We got to watch that, right? So we will see that. And then we will continue this journey with our recruiting and see what we can build for NIU next season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave, hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Turn on that bell notification. I will see you guys next time.